Well, the Indian Army is celebrating its uh, 65th Army Day, paying homage to the martyrs who fought uh, valiantly, who fight valiantly, in fact, on the border. Let's bring you now the live pictures that we are getting from Delhi Cantonment. You can see the Chief of Army Staff, General Bikram Singh, there. The Army paying homage to the martyred soldiers earlier this morning at Amar Jawan Jyoti at India Gate. There are going to be a parade and military shows which will feature Army's latest technology and its achievements. All this taking place right now at Delhi Cantonment. My colleague uh, Shiv Aru is still with us. Uh, Shiv, apart uh, from the fact that uh, soldiers uh, and how hard they work and what difficult circumstances they work in along the border, uh, the resourcefulness of army cannot be actually overstated, be it during disaster management or uh, we've seen during any sort of uh, accident, we've also seen them help uh, when ch children have fallen into bore wells. So in that sense, the resourcefulness and uh, the adaptiveness in, of Indian army is actually incredible. It really is incredible, uh, Rushika, you're right. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's, 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 uh, the, the jury is still out about, uh, you know, just how this country actually utilizes uh, its army, the uh, you know the army is, has always supposed uh, is, you know, has always intended to be the last resort for any uh, you know for any emergency for any purpose, be it you know um, uh, public disorder or uh, or disaster management or anything of that kind, because uh, civil aid agencies are always supposed to be a first port of call. Uh, but as we've seen in the last uh, five to ten years, I think I think you're absolutely right. The army. Uh, simply because of its incredible dependability, because of the you know the vigorous training that the army uh, the uh, army personnel go through, and the uh, you know the the, the 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 fact that an army uh, an army unit is present on a scene, there is instantly a faith that things are going to be okay. I think all of those come together to assure uh, you know a nation that the army is the first port of call. Now I don't know how good a thing that is because. Uh, now you've now you've got like remember in Assam uh, in August last year in July and August last year the army was called out instantly which was a really good thing. Uh, on the other hand, you've got the army being called out for all sorts of things otherwise you know children being uh, children dropping into bore wells uh, that sort of thing. So I I think there's a sense of complacency in the country right now. Uh, you know a sort of chalta hai attitude saying you know the army is there they'll take care of it so we don't have to worry. Uh, as a result of which, you know, the, a lot of different agencies are in a state of decay. Uh, but the good thing, the good thing, Ruchika, is, uh, you know, uh, on Army Day to remember is the Army, you know, the, the politicians try to dabble with the Army. They try to interfere with promotions. They try uh, and, you know, disrupt uh, the way things really happen within the Army. The bureaucracy as well does that. Uh, but the army is a disciplined professional force. It has, uh, it has remained, uh, at least the critical parts of it uh, have remained insulated from outside interference. Uh, uh, but I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, all said and done, uh, at least today on January the 15th, Army Day, it's a good day to, to actually contemplate how the army can actually be improved. Because uh, let's remember, the army does need attention. There are various problems that afflict the army. It is desperately in need of modernization. It is desperately in need uh, of, uh, you know, of, of new weapons, of new tactics. Uh, there are there are a huge number of demands and propos uh, proposals that the army has put forward to the government uh, that are, you know, just sitting in files. They need they need more formations in the northeast. They need more artillery. They need more guns. They need aircraft. They need helicopters. Uh, and you know, uh, modernization is just one aspect of this huge thing. Also, the fact that there's a massive officer shortage within the army. Also, the fact that the army uh, happens to be one of the largest in the world, but should it really be such a, uh, you know, such a such a man-heavy army? Shouldn't it be a lighter, leaner force? So there are there are various questions that face the army, and I think the army day today is as good a day as any uh, to actually look into each and every one of these questions because they beg answering. Because at the end of the day, just remember how big this country is, Ruchika, and uh, imagine the onerous responsibility that the army has not only in protecting our borders and, you know, maintaining the country's sovereignty, but the hundreds of other things, including those things you just mentioned, uh, that they are tasked with uh, literally on a daily basis. Absolutely. Interesting point that you raised about the support that Army needs to meet uh, the diverse ch uh, challenges that it faces uh, in the future and that are likely to come up. Um, as advanced with, uh, with advancement of technology, but uh, Shiv, uh, the decision makers, the policy makers, 
they have been found wanting in the support that the army needs uh, in you know in advancing and ensuring uh, that they are they are able to meet these diverse challenges that is right i i think i think over over the years you've uh, you've rarely found a dispensation of bureaucracy uh, that is you know uh that is super sensitive to what the army's needs really are uh now no dispensation no government is expected to be fully attuned with what the military wants uh but i uh, but i you know it pains me to say that in the last 6 uh, to 7 years we've seen a huge number of run-ins between the between the government and the army and i'm not saying the army i'm not saying the government is solely to blame for that there have been occasions when you know there have been a face off with the army specifically as a result of personal actions we saw that uh, you know happen uh, last year and the year before with the the the, the previous army chief general vk singh uh, and that had left a pretty sour taste in everybody's mouth uh, not least the army's Uh, so there is there, there is a hope now that you know the army will be in the news for the right reasons uh, you know not in the news for confrontations or or personal or, or personal disputes between officers or promotional disenchantment or the fact that you know letters have been leaked uh, you know so there there's, there's an there's an existential there's an ex- existential uh, sort of question here over you know just how the country actually regards the army is it uh, is it an army that we will look at and say yo the army is just like a- every other agency in the country there are people in it who are selfish and corrupt and only looking after their own backs and uh, and you know the, it, it isn't the professional and noble service it was anymore i mean these are real questions i spent the last week on the line of control and i can tell you that uh soldiers officers they are very dedicated to their duty rajka it's 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 uh, you know we can we can sit and argue about how you know the army is made up of people from the same society so called society as all of us are but at the end of the day the army the 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 ethos the work values uh, you know the sense of duty is is is, is something it is, is something that uh, places the military way way above uh, you know uh, if i if, if i can call us mere mortals because at the end of the day they face a life where uh, you know death is at your doorstep literally every second especially uh, the people who you know guard our frontiers jawans right. and officers who live every day there and i think today is a d- great day to remember those who are gone and those who continue to stand and protect us absolutely well the contribution of indian army in nurturing india even with all its fault cannot be underestimated shivarur many thanks for joining us